In their daily pursuit of justice, our superhero characters do battle with the world's most evil villain. Where will the next evil villain come from? Maybe you will create them in Post Superheroes Create a Villain Contest. Grand prize. Nine kids win a one-week trip to Hollywood. They'll have breakfast with these superheroes. And the villain they've created. Second prize. One thousand win bicycles. Millions will enter and everyone who does gets superheroes puppy stickers. Details on specially marked boxes of Alphabet, Super Sugar Crisp, Honeycomb, and Pebble cereals. You can draw and paint your villain in the picture provided. Three different pictures. Superman! Wonder Woman! Batman and Robin! Three grand prizes per picture. The most original villains win. <laughs> Holy Hollywood! Post Superheroes Create a Villain Contest. Details on specially marked boxes of Alphabet, Super Sugar Crisp, Honeycomb, and Pebble cereals. Mom's helping his color apes with a pod to Easter egg color kit. Look at all this stuff! You drop a color tablet into vinegar and water, then dip a hard-boiled egg. Ready. Hey, this is fun. <laughs> when it's dry, I like to rub on cotton the rabbit. I like to keep my eggs in the egg holder. I like to put my name on mine. Which way do you like them, Jamie? Scrambles! <laughs> Pa's Easter egg color kit comes with everything seen here. Tonight, Drummond sucks face. Run about Mickey. Different strokes. Then Katie's busted. What's for dinner? And gets her sentence. Bread and water. Give me a break. Watch the Smurfs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the kid superpower hour with Shazam. Then it's the all-new adventures of Spider-Man and his amazing friends Saturday mornings. Garden hops a lot. Oh, oh my! Have you come to share my new strawberry shortcake cereal? Indubitably! <laughs> That's very nice! It's such a pretty strawberry pink, and its crispy strawberry taste is a very good part of this nutritious breakfast. Mm. Right! It even smells like strawberries. Outstanding! <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious! This boy is losing his bounce. Why can't he bounce back? He didn't fuel up huh? with a good breakfast. Cheerio! Like this good, nutritious breakfast with toast, juice, milk, and tasty Cheerios, which has almost no sugar. When you fuel up in the morning with a Cheerios breakfast, it'll really keep you bouncing. Wow! Cheerio! We now return to the Flintstone Bunny. Oh, isn't it romantic, Betty? We're actually flying to Algiers Stone. Uh-huh. What a dreamy vacation. Hey, it says here we're going to see some real live belly dances. That's right, little buddy. <laughs> Fred'll be right at home with those girls, Betty. His belly's been dancing over his belt buckle for years. Fasten your seatbelts, please. We are now landing in Alcari Stone. <laughs> I just hate bumpy landings. 
Hey, Bunny, can you get us a taxi? Your slightest wish is my command. How about that, Betty? I always thought flying carpets were just stories. Sahara Stone Hotel, please, driver. Isn't this fun? Uh, yeah, I feel like Alibaba. <laughs> I wonder if we'll meet the 40 thieves. Sure. They'll all be at the hotel, waiting for tips. Hey, hey, Fred, some fancy joint, huh? It better be at these prices. Oh, Fred, so it costs a little extra. You only live once. Yeah, but I was planning on living past the first of the month. Isn't this romantic, Wilma? Sipping champagne under the stars in old Arabia. Oh, it sure is. And tomorrow morning, we can go to the bazaar and start picking out jewelry. Hey, 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 hey. Jo jewelry? They've got great bargains here, Fred. I'll bet. Real gold bracelets worth thousands of dollars for only a few hundred. Imagine! And pearls, diamonds, rubies, real buys. Yeah? We gotta keep the girls out of the bazaar tomorrow, or they'll spend us into the poorhouse. Hey, uh, what do we do, Fred? Simple. We'll take them out in the desert where there's nothing to buy. Just oasises and ruins and things of hysterical interest. Oh, I don't know, Fred. Uh, ain't it dangerous out there? Not half as dangerous as letting the girls run loose with our wallets. Relax. We'll have a trip you'll never forget. That's what I'm afraid of. I thought you were taking us to the bazaar, Fred. Bonnie, I wanted to give you girls a treat. A trip through the real Sahara Stone Desert. I smell a rat. Fred, what about our shopping trip for jewelry? Oh, heavens to Betsy. We'll do that by and by. That's all they ever do, by and by. Oh, oh hot. Oh, my, my, my touches are flying. Mine too. Oh, let's stop before we burn up. Are you sure you know where we're going? Of course I do. I got news for you, Fred. Those are our wheel tracks. What? You mean we've been going in circles? Now, take it easy, everybody. We'll be okay. Hey, hey look. Coming over those dunes. What did I tell you? Help is on the way. We're saved. Hey! Oh! Ah, hey, wait, 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 wait for us! Uh, uh, they, they took the girls, uh, and they left us behind. Wilma! Uh, we've been following their tracks for hours, Fred. Uh, can't we rest a while? We don't dare, Bon. They gotta be headed for that oasis and... Speaking of oasis, look at that. Yabba dabba too. there it is. Hey, Fred, where's the water? It was a mirage. Oh, boy, are we in trouble? Never mind us. Think about poor Betty and Wilma. Oh, pinch me, Betty. I must be dreaming. Me too. This is the life, huh, Wilma? Mm hmm Does everything please you, beautiful one? Just dandy, Abdul. And thanks for the air conditioning. <sighs> Yeah, they get cooler and I get hotter. Any news of our husbands? Do not worry yourselves, pretty ones. My men have strict orders to take care of them. Uh-oh, looks like we got company. Yeah? Well, he ain't gonna get us. Get away from here! We're not afraid of you! We... Hey, <laughs> looks like you ended up with egg in your face, Fred. <laughs> <laughs> and here. Fred, look! I'm down, chum. If you've seen one mirage, you've seen them all. That's no mirage. It's real. Hey, let's go! The sun is cooking your brain, buddy. I tell you, this is a... Mirage! Hey, it's water! Real water! Yabba jabba doo! Yahoo, we made it! Shh! We gotta find the girls, and I'm thinking the natives won't be too friendly. Hey, 
sounds like a party in there. Yeah, let's take a peek. Hi, Nippon. It's the yeah, if Fred and Barney could see us now. We gotta get the girls out of there. Yeah, but how? We'll have to disguise ourselves to crash the party. Come on. <laughs> We're in luck, Bon. Let's grab some ladies' clothes. Ladies? Yeah, so we can cover our faces with veils. Hey, Fred. How do I look? Fine, fine. Hurry it up. Don't you think I need a little more eyeshadow? Will you cut that out? This is a rescue, not a beauty contest. No need to raise your voice. Oh, ladies. <laughs> oh, hi, Shiki. The Alvay Ani Bay. You'd better hurry. This celebration has begun to welcome our two latest wives. Two late. <clears throat> two latest wives? Ah. Two latest wives? But I thought those ladies were already married. A minor detail, I assure you. They were married, but soon they will be widows. <laughs> widows? Their unfortunate husbands either met with an accident in the desert or soon will. Oh. Uh, ooh. Hmm. Do I know you ladies? Uh, who, 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 us? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, no, we are, we're traveling with a caravan. Mm, here today, going tomorrow. <laughs> In that case, how about a kiss for the bridegroom? <laughs> but, Cheeky, I hardly know you. <laughs> then it's time you did. <laughs> what? You! <laughs> I promised your wives that I'd take care of you, and I will! <laughs> that way, quick! <laughs> Seize them! Boil them in oil! Quick, Bonnie, in here! Let's hide! He's coming! Quick, Bonnie, into those jaws! I could swear they ran in here! Where are they? Aha! If he's anything like a horsesaurus, he'll head straight back for the barn. Giddy up! Oh, giddy up! Move it! <laughs> Whoa, is he traveling? Well, what did you tell him, Fred? Oh, nothing much, Bon. I just told him Abdul was looking for a new camel's hair coat. <laughs> 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 Did you have an exciting trip, Mom? We sure did, thanks to your father. Hey, and Wilma. Oh, it started out kind of routine. But then your father had this marvelous idea about a drive through the Sahara Stone Desert. That's terrific, Mr. Flintstone. 
Could you and Dad take me and Pebbles to see the Sahara Stone sometime? Well, I... Uh... I uh, think you could safely say that Fred never wants to see the sand again. Unless it's at the beach or uh, in his little sand pail. Very funny. Very funny. <laughs> <laughs> Quick chocolate flavor. No one can say no to quick. My son, to follow in my footsteps, you must always remember four things. Four things, Papa? Everybody needs a balanced breakfast every morning. That's number one, Papa? That's number one. Next, Captain Crunch cereal can be part of it. That's number two, Papa? That's number two. And number three is, you can't get away with a crunch because the crunch always gives you away. Number four is... Always remember number three. Right. We now return to the Flintstone Bunnies. For well, once, Sergeant Bolt has given us a honey. Oh, well, yeah, Fred. Riding a new Turbo Rock 1 race car ought to be a lot of fun. <laughs> I wish that Flintstone would lose some weight. Officer Flintstone, do you read me? Roger, Sergeant Boulder, what's the problem? You left here so fast, I think you forgot something. Forgot what? Well, don't worry, he's on his way. Yeah. Will you cut that out? Welcome to the Bedrock Grand Prix, where daring drivers risk life and limb. For the Grand Prix Grand Prize Trophy Cup, and don't miss the Turbo Rock One, the fastest car in the world and the most expensive. See, Mom? No wonder Bedrock's finest to garden it. Now look, that schmoo got the car dirty. Well, easy, Fred. Well, I'll clean it. Oh, thanks, Moo. Sheesh. Bravo, start your engines. Come on, let's get a little closer. Gee, what about the Turbo Rock One? Relax, pal. Nothing's gonna happen to it while Officer Fred Flintstone's on the job. You picked a good day for our jailbreak, Big Louie. Everyone's in the race. Ah, uh, yeah, baby face. And we'll be out of here soon. Well, not soon enough for me. Yeah, we've been working our tails off. Now let's steal a fast car for our getaway. Ah, uh, I know just the place to look. Come on. Yeah, 
zappa zappa zoo, zoom zoom zoom. Do you see what I see? Yeah, the fastest car in the world. Just what we're looking for. Start her up, Big Louie. Ha ha ha! Nobody's gonna catch us. It is baby. Flagstone and the fastest car in the world. Oh boy, I told you we shouldn't have left it, Fred. Hit the siren, Bond. It's the cops. They'll be eating dust in a second. <laughs> when it comes to police business, one's company and smooths a crowd. Quick, Louie. Easy, Fred. Whoa! You have to admit, Fred, sometimes the schmoo does come in handy. <laughs> yeah. Hold it. Looks like we have two late entries in today's Grand Prix. <laughs> We're passing on them. Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm only in second gear. Well, the turbo rock is too fast for us, Fred. Not with fast thinking Flintstone at the wheel. Down this alley. Are you sure it's not a blind alley? Uh, I can't see a thing. Louie, it's the boss. Don't worry, I'll give him the horn. <laughs> Hey, it's those crooks, Fred. Step on it. Attention! There's a disabled car at 5th and Main. Will the closest unit please respond? Uh, that's us, Fred. We'd better go. We'll catch the crooks later. It's a flood. Hey, let's show those race crew guys how it's done. You get the tire while I handle the jack. All set. Three seconds flat. Not bad. And not too bright, stupid. It's down. <laughs> there they are, Fred. We caught up to Pull over in the name of the law. Uh-oh. It's those pesky cops. Peel out, Louie. Here we go again. Hey, Fred, this road is closed. Don't bother me now, Bond. I'm hot on that trail. Whoa! Hang on, Bond. If those crooks made it, so can we. We're not going that fast enough. Yeah! We the schmoo saved us, Fred. Yeah, but we won't be safe from Sergeant Boulder if those con hammers get away. You're right, though. What do we do? You continue chasing the crooks while I get the drop on them. And you aren't coming along. When those crooks pass by below, Flintstone will spring into action. Here they come. Oh, no. Smoo, what are you doing here? Gee, Fred, what are you doing here? I would have caught those crooks if it wasn't for that smooth. Hey, we're slowing down. Just our luck, out of gas. We'll have to make a quick pit stop. Hey, how about some service there? Yeah, ah, Hey, up, honey. I'm going after them. But, Fred, the holes. Now I've got you. Gee, Fred, you look a little tired. <laughs> Very funny, pal. Very funny. I don't know about the plan, Fred. We might wreck the Turbo Rock One. Relax, Bond. I'm just going to slow it down. Those cops have broke our bumper. Oh, yeah? Well, hang on. I'm flooring this baby.
got the crooks, the car, and first place. <laughs> Airborne, a real triple plan. Boy, this trophy's heavy. I'll bet it's solid gold. Well, uh, we couldn't have won it without the schmoo. You got a point there, Bond. I wonder where the little fella is. <laughs> Me and my big mouth. <laughs> the Flintstone Funnies will return after these messages. Not everyone wears Zips shoes because they can help you run fast. Not everyone wears Zips for traction. And not everyone wears Zips for an incredible performance. But when all is said and done, it's nice to know that performance is there. Just in case you need it. You really need You really need You really need You really Him. Bluebeard's the grumpiest pirate afloat. But we're supposed to cheer him up. Ah, who goes there? Snap, crackle, pop. <laughs> Sir? State your business, mates. To put fun into your morning. What be fun? Kellogg's Rice Krispie cereal. It's, it's fun to put snap, crackle, pop into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. Uh, a talking treasure. Sir, where do pirates come from? Pittsburgh. Where else? <laughs> <laughs> We now return to the Flintstone Bunnies. I'll get you this time, you little pest. Gino, we just gotta get out of the house and get away from that cave mouse. <laughs> hey, what would you think of taking a camping trip to get away from it all? Okay, Gino, I'm gonna catch us a batch of yummy fish while you set up camp. Yabba jabba doo. Oh, I can taste them now. And don't let anything happen to the picnic basket. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
boy, oh boy, all day and not one bite. I guess it's canned dinner tonight, Dino. <laughs> Dino, I left you in charge of the food. What are we gonna eat? I'm starving. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> the Flintstone Funny will return after these messages. Hey, Keebler, how's the old elf and magic? Oh, pretty good. Ah, the old fudge and one side trick, huh? Wow, stripes! Yes, sir. We're making our fudge stripe cookies. We take crisp shortbread cookies, cover them with rich fudge on one side and fudge stripes on the other side. Unbelievable! I always wanted to know how you elves got the stripes on your fudge stripe cookies, and I still don't know. Keebler fudge stripes, fudge sticks, and deluxe Grahams. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Boom, 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 Nerf Boomerang. Nerf Boomerang, Nerf Boomerang. Easy throw in high or low. Boomerang from Parker Brothers. We now return to the Flintstone Bunnies. What a great school picnic. I'm stuffed. Me too. I couldn't eat another bite. Uh, yep. I couldn't even eat the last piece of Chickenosaurus. I put it in the Dino bag. Hey, that's mine, Buster. Let go of it. Look, we're coming to Scary Valley. There's only one place in the world where rock roses grow, and this is it. Let's pick some. If you think I'm driving through Scary Valley for some dumb flowers, you have rocks in your head. But they smell so beautiful, Bam Bam. Please, please. Well, okay. Not too far. I think I know why they call it Scary Valley. Oh, it was probably just named after a guy named Larry Scary. There's absolutely nothing to be afraid of around here. Intruders, we must stop them before they see us. Blink the hypnotic gas. Hypnotic gas, coming up. You see the rock roses yet? Nope. Those flowers must be smarter than we are. They got out of here. <coughs> Rock roses. Dino, do you see? Oh, he's gone! Stop the car! Dino, where are you? Dino! Don't move, Dino. I'm coming. Dino, wait! Ooh. Now I got you. Now, now, I don't. Something weird's going on around here. I mean, why did Dino act so funny? Well, he just ate too much of the picnic. Yeah, I guess your cooking would make someone feel like walking off a cliff. <laughs> now, Bam Bam, look! A whole grove of rock roses. Wow, they sure look terrific. I told you they were. Come on! <laughs> I see what 
I think I see. Oh, you mean that unidentified flapping object? Unidentified flapping object? I'm making tracks. Bam, bam, it landed. We can see a UFO up close. No way, we're getting out of here. Please, bam, bam. It's scary, but I've never seen any aliens before. I don't think you should go. The UFO went down over there. Master, those intruders mustn't slow us down. Wow, those are the biggest flowers I've ever seen. And then they smell so great. <laughs> <laughs> the intruders. Well, this time I'll stop them for good. Atta boy, Tino. Hold it back. Come on. Hey, suppose those UFO people are unfriendly. Oh, bam, bam, you're always worrying. They'll be friendly. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> If this is friendly, I'll take an accident any time. I think we lost them. I hope so. And believe me, it's no big loss. Look! What's that? It looks like something moves on that conveyor belt into this crushing machine. Yeah, but what for? I don't know, but it's a funny thing for aliens to be doing here. Let's check that flapping saucer. <laughs> if this thing starts to take off, I'm taking off fast. Come on. Wow. Imagine traveling millions of miles inside here. Yeah. It must get pretty stuffy after the first million. Huh. Hey, look at all those bottles of perfume. Oh, this isn't just any perfume, Bam Bam. It's Rose Rock's number five. That's the most expensive perfume in the world, isn't it? Right. This is getting very suspicious. Let's see what else we can find. They got away! No! They're inside! You'll never tell what you've seen here! Oh. Dino, Dino, you, you saved, saved us! us. Look, they're not aliens at all. Just regular people. Regular people indeed. I am Madame Sniffrock. The Madame Sniffrock who makes Rose Rock number five? Yes, from the finest Rose Rocks in the world, right here. Now everyone will know my secret. Not if we don't tell. Oh, you are wonderful. Wonderful. It will be our own special secret. So the white suits and the masks kept the insects off them while they worked. And the UFO was used to store the perfume and scare people away. It sure was nice of her to give each of us a free bottle of Rose Rock number five. Uh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> 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 the Flintstone Funny will return after these messages.
Let's get him to leave so we can play. Bunny, want to ride my new bike? No, thanks. Telephone, Bunny. Take a message, please. No one can say no to quick. Say, Bunny, want some quick? Great. I'll get it. I've got it. Oh, quick is so rich. And thick. And milk chocolatey. That was good. Oh. Since you're not playing. Nestle Quick Chocolate Flavor. No one can say no to quick. Tidal wave? <laughs> Big soft liquid center bubble. They burst the flavor inside. Hey, G. You know why it's called tidal wave? <laughs> Bubble gum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. We now return to the Flintstone Bunny. To those who claim that the citizens of Bedrock don't have no cl uh, mean <clears throat> don't have any class, we point proudly to the Vanderslade Art Museum, filled with classy and expensive art treasures. Like this classic rock brand masterpiece, worth millions. Get done, caveman! Oh, I can't believe it. It's an outrage. Oh, no. And we believe our eyes. Has Captain Caveman turned into a common, uh, uh, uncommon crook? Perhaps Chester the copy boy has some answers for us. Be so nosy, Chester. On the other hand, maybe he doesn't. He can't help. No stuck. We'd better do something, Wilma. I've got a complaint to the union about these overcrowded conditions. Go oh, oh, harder, Betty. Yeah. Oh, poor Chester. Are you okay now? Would a little snack make you feel better? Uh, uh, a snack? <laughs> Chester, the typewriter! Wilma! Betty! Yes, Mr. Mr. Bannon? You won't believe this. In fact, I don't believe it myself. Captain Caveman robbed the Vanderslate Art Museum this morning. Mmm, sounds interesting. No, you're, you're joking. joking. Uh, Uncle, oh, shame on him. Wait, that me? Uh, Uncle, uh, 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 me do that? Uh, oh, 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 not remember. And I just got a tip that he's at the Museum of Bedrock History right now. Thanks for the warning. The what Betty means is we'll get right over there, Mr. Granite. That's not what I meant. <laughs> oh, me, uh, oh, me confused. How can me be there if me here? Only one way to find out. <laughs> Fly power. Oh, Angama, me just invent pole vaulting. What was that? Ah, just Captain Caveman. You get used to it. Could Captain Caveman be two places at once? He even has trouble being one place at once. Betty, look! It is Captain Caveman. That's right, sweetie, and I've always had expensive taste. <laughs> Captain Caveman, what's gotten into you? There he is. Get him. Come on, Betty. There goes our story. Now we get to the bottom of this. Captain Caveman! We're crook. I'm really confused, Wilma. Even more than usual. There's something strange going on, all right. And we've got to hide Katie before those guards get back. Quick, in here. 
This way! Will someone please tell me what's going on? Is KB really a crook? Uncle Monkey, me been framed. Someone's out there. Uncle Monkey, let me out there. There are two Captain Cavemans. Er, cavemen. Oh. Me get it. Captain Caveman! So long, sucker. <laughs> Some days it better to stay in bed. You hear? Thanks. Me needed that. In an effort to make some sense of this nonsense, Captain Caveman and the girls speed to Cave Central, a secret headquarters so secret that nobody knows where it is. Not even Captain Caveman. Oh, hey, mother, wonder how me get here every time. Do you really think the crime computer can identify the crook for us, KB? Oh, Unga, sure, sure. Just take special touch. Okay, computer, work time! Hey, easy, easy! Uh, what art teeth look just like Captain Caveman, Unga Bung, huh? Is this a trick question? <laughs> Apparently not. Well, to work, to work. <laughs> The Masquerader? I'll buy that. The Masquerader, of course! He can look like anyone in those costumes. Even Captain Caveman? Uncle Buggy, um, him pretty tricky. But how do we find him? Superhero have radar. This radar. Find Masquerader, Uncle Bungie. Oh, this is very scientific. Find this, find that. What does he think I am, the lost and found? <laughs> I think that's a clue. Moments later, Captain Caveman and the girls are streaking to the waterfront in the cave mobile. Cavey, please, not so fast. Okay, slow down, George. It's about time there's a speed limit, you know. So, Captain Caveman and those Snoopy reporters are on my tail, huh? <laughs> well, not for long. <laughs> Careful, Cavey! The dock! It's moving! Can this be the end of our heroes? Does this mean the Masquerader will get his own show? And what will become of Bedrock? Think about it. The Masquerader has tricked Captain Caveman into a watery trap. Can he escape in time? <coughs> hmm. Heavier than me remember from the bunny school. Somebody get number of truck. Are you all right, Captain Caveman? Uh, and, uh... Oh, yeah, all right, yeah, and very clean. <laughs> so you escaped from my first trap, huh? Well, you won't get away this time. Cavey! Help! Captain, Captain Caveman! Uncle Bunny, Abby, you say something, Betty? Uh, uh, Uncle Bunny, uh, be coming! You're the masquerader, aren't you? Ah, uh, that would be telling. <laughs> But you won't be telling anyone. Oh, dear. This doesn't look good, Wilma. Easy, Betty. Captain Caveman will save us. I hope so. Oh, you look familiar. Me know that face. You, me. No, you masquerade. It's your choice, Captain Cave Chump. Stop me or save your girlfriends. Baby, help! We need you! Oh, baby, whoa. What, what me do? Oh, eeny, meeny, miny. Cave! Oh, uh, me coming! Captain Cave! It's been nice knowing you, Wilma. Funny place for a swimming pool. 
Get us out of here, KB, before it's too late. No, 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 But now to catch Masquerader, Captain Caveman! Ready or not, here me come. Hunger Ball! What's he up to? Got you now. So much for smooth landing. You fool! Thank goodness you're all right, KB. <laughs> Him not KB. Me, KB. <laughs> Amazing! Once again, good triumphs over evil in the city of Bedrock. But wait a minute. What's this? Are there two more masqueraders loose in the city? Angamang, uh, me see double trouble. It's us, Chester. <laughs> We're going to a costume party. Angamang, it uh, sound like fun. Me go as Captain Caveman, too. <laughs> Don't be silly. Oh, Betty's right. Who never believe that you're Captain Caveman? <laughs> <laughs> you probably right. Me too handsome. <laughs> the Flintstone Funny will return after these messages. I follow my nose. It always knows. I detect with my beak the fruit flavors I seek. But where? I smell those orange and lemon cherry tastes. Such a gloomy place to find that lively taste. Whoa! Looking for these? Ah, yes, Kellogg's Fruit Loop cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm, these are good. I think I'll have some more. Better ask your mummy. <laughs> Next to my big kitty, I adore the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. Quiet, Woodrow. For the big taste you can't resist, it's the big taste of chocolate in a little Hershey's Kiss. Next to my big friend, I love the big taste of chocolate in this little Hershey's Kiss. <laughs> Hershey's Kisses, the little kiss with the big taste. We now return to the Flintstone Bunny. Tino, keep a sharp eye on that birthday cake. I gotta go get Barney and the girls for Barney's surprise party. And if anything happens to that birthday cake while I'm gone... Got it. Oh, my God. 
Hey, where'd the girls, Fred? They're right behind us. Now, come on, Barney. Hey, what's all the mystery about, Fred? You'll see, Barney. <laughs> Okay, Barney, here's your big surprise. Gee, Fred, that's some surprise. <laughs> The Flintstone Funnies will return after these messages. Hi, my name is Amy Collins. I'm from Lumberton, North Carolina. Amy's question on Ask NBC News in a moment. A giant crab stealing our golden crispy super sugar crisp. Stealing against the law, Crab Claw. <laughs> this time the pinch is on you. Yay, Super Bear! Post Super Sugar Crisp cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. With Super Sugar Crisp Cereal Stickers, you can find your bike quicker. Decorate your skates. Customize your wheels. Or even labeled Mabel. Three different sticker strips, one in each specially marked bright new box of Post Super Sugar Crisp. E.T. Shoes from Buster Brown. E.T. Shoes from Buster Brown. E.T. Shoes from Buster Brown. Shoes from Buster Brown are here, and they're extra terrific. Plus, you get 10 ET trading cards, an ET sticker, and bubble gum free with purchase. ET shoes from Buster Brown. Available at Bloomingdale's. We now return to the Flintstone Bunnies. <laughs> Darn flowers, always crowding out my beautiful weed. <laughs> oh, there is nothing like giving the house a good dusting. How's the gardening coming, dear? The gardening's fine, but I'm not. Look! There's our son with pebbles again. I've told him to stay away from those oddball Flintstones. Thanks for helping me carry my books home, Freaky. That's what friends are for, Peb. Gee, you must have a lot of homework tonight. Hey, look, your father's waving at us. Hi, Mr. Frankenstone. Gee, I can't quite hear what he's saying. Consider yourself lucky. Oh, that boy makes me really mad! I'm going to bring him home. Frank Frankenstone? Don't be such an old stick in the blood. But, idiot. No buts, Frank. Now, please bring in the garbage. One little, two little, three little potions, four little, five little, ah, 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 choo! Uh-oh, I think I did a bad thing. Well, I guess it's back to the drawing board, gang. Did you see that? Uh, it's a hate potion, and I love it. <laughs> now all my problems with Freaky and Pebbles are solved. Mm, great popcorn, Pep. Thanks. I made it myself. And this is a super show. You sure know how to pick them. You have rotten taste in TV shows. Says you, sandal shoes. Love it or leave it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I haven't been this happy since my last funeral. <laughs> you can just take your test and cram for it. I'm leaving. Good riddance. My father was right. You are a creep off the old block. Oh, boy, it worked like a charm. Now to get rid of the evidence. Oh. <laughs> Open wide, Rock Shore. We have to get this potion powder back. Oh, am I mad? Knock off that singing! And get away from my yard! When Ed Bus comes, I'm gonna be first on, see? Oh no, I'm first! You're both wrong, turkeys. This lady's numero uno. Yes, hey, oh, yes! Yeah. Yeah. What's so funny, Mac? Get him! Here! Uh-oh! It's every beast for himself! What's all the commotion outside, dear? A weirdo neighbor, Frank Frankenstone, up to no good as usual. Now, oh, now, Fred. There's good in everybody. You just look for it. But keep your hands off this cake, Chubbo. You'll need it like a hole in the head. Ah, Wilma, you're so beautiful when you're angry. In fact, the whole world is beautiful. Hey, ton of fun. Just where do you think you're going? To bring this cake to the sweetest, dearest guy in the whole world, my pal, Frank Frankenstone. That creepo! Why, it's Mr. Flintstone. Please, come in. Thank you, thank you. Oh, my favorite family. <laughs> and my favorite pet. <laughs> oh, me. Okay, Flintstone, what do you want? I want only to give my pal, Frank, this homemade cake. Why, thank you. I'll get some plates. Oh, it's so good to see you two getting along for a change. Speaking of getting along, why don't you get along home, Flintstone, before I get mad? <laughs> hey, let go! Open up, Rock Jaw! Open up! Oh, boy, oh, boy. What a kidder you are, Frankie. What a great sense of humor. Flintstone, I'm getting very tired of... Tired? Hey, no problem. Old Freddy boy here will help you relax, pal. First, we're going to put him aside to take away the tension. <laughs> See? You're feeling better already. Oh, yeah, you're making me mad. Mad, 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 mad. <laughs> Frank, you're such a wild and crazy guy. I'd love to stay and play, but you got to run. Good, buddy. Oh, it's you again. Then I'm taking the long way to school. Good. I hope you get lost. Frank, did you see Freaky and Pebbles fighting? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. That's not like them. Now, maybe Wilma knows what's wrong. Hello, Wilma. I... She told me to buzz off. Well, I guess that means we won't be seeing any more of the Flintstone. Hmm. <laughs> it's a great morning, even if it is sunny and bright. Yowie! <laughs> Yeah, Good morning to you. What are you doing here? This is my day off, and I couldn't think of a better way to spend it than with you, old buddy. Oh, no, you don't. So, Frankie, old pal, where do we go first? You're going home and back. All right, forward. Tax for speeding. Max 
for reckless driving, and that's for just plain ugliness. Uh, sorry, officer, but you just can't give my best friend a ticket. Oh, I can't, huh? Well, we'll just see about that. I sure told him, huh, Frank? Fred, would you do me a favor? Anything, old pal? Just ask. Would you mind checking the back tires? Why, certainly, good buddy. Oh, oh, oh. Go on, good buddy! Oh. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. That Frank has the greatest sense of humor. Always kidding around. Oh, I'm home, Hidia. Oh, what a surprise. Just in time for lunch. And guess who the cook is? Yeah, but jabba you. Steak and potatoes for you. Yay! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Boy, that husband of yours always joking around. <laughs> yes. Isn't he a scream? <laughs> Oh, Atrocia, quick! Daddy needs a great big favor. From little bitty me? Right. Remember your magic potion that made the lovebirds fight? Uh-huh. Well, I need something that works just the opposite. Sure, Daddy. Oh, what a good girl. I can't imagine who she takes after. But, Daddy... What, dear, what, 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 what? I could think better if I had a big penicillin pizza. Right, right. There you go. And some Goulet to wash it down. Oh, Goulet, right. Uh, 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 there you go. And sludge ripple ice cream for dessert. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> your ice cream. <laughs> and your potion. Oh, rock jaw. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> it's so sweet of you to wash all our dishes, Mr. Flintstone. How'd the dust go, Pep? Great! Come on over and celebrate. <sighs> ah, there you are. Oh, no. From now on, wash your own dishes, weirdo! <laughs> Same to you, Rockhead! Oh, boy, what a relief to have things back to normal again. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> The Flintstone Funny will return after these messages. Trash trucks and trouble. Here comes hell. Checking out the news about Hot Wheels. The new Hot Wheels rig record. Hook her up. Trash trucks sold separately. All right. When you buy these detailed Hot Wheels vehicles in specially marked packages, you can get this new Hot Wheels belt buckle free. Look what I got free with my new Hot Wheels. Check it out. The new Hot Wheels rig wrecker. Some cars not for use with some sets. New from Hot Wheels by Mattel. We now return to the Flintstone Bunny. There was a hidden village where tiny creatures lived. They call themselves Smurfs. They were good.
was Gargamel, the evil wizard. He was bad. Oh, I hate Smurfs. I'll get you. I'll get all of you if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> oh, I'll get you. I'll find your village someday. You'll be sorry. Well, the forest is still there. And if you listen, you may hear Gargamel's rage. And if you are good, you may just catch a glimpse of the Smurfs. The Smurfs will return after these messages. Like everyone should And who knows that bull Jack was good Apple ah, 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 Jack The ball in the hole He's a tasty bowl Of cinnamon toasty Apple tasty Kellogg's Apple Jack Part of this complete breakfast ah, 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 Apple ch -ch Jack Smurf has smurfed my cake. You didn't see it by any Smurf. Well, uh, gee, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I, I, I don't know. What's that you're hiding behind your Smurf? If my cake's in there, you're sorry. Boy, are you lucky. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> We're very, very close, Hasrihal. <laughs> Today, I will find them miserable, disgusting little village, and when I do, I'll stamp it flat, flat, flat. <laughs> Quiet, you rotten beast. You'll scare them away. <laughs> There's one now! <laughs> Azriel, get that smurf! Uh-oh! Azriel, there he goes! Get him! Stop him! Gargamel's coming! Gargamel's coming! Papa Smurf, Papa Smurf, Gargamel is coming! Gargamel? Smurfs? Smurfs! I'll find you, you miserable little Smurf! I'll find you! We can't let him find our village. What'll we do, Papa Smurf? Uh, aha! I'll make the village invisible. Oh, good! Now he'll never find us! Oh, for Smurf's sake! Quick, I'll need a gallon of moon water, two drops of frog juice, a blade of brass, a pinch of caterpillar hair, one leaf from a rubber plant, oh, boy. I'm close. I can feel it. I'm very, very close. One last ingredient. Glowberries. Lots of glowberries. This is all I can find, Papa Smurf. That's all? Well, let's hope it's enough. The 
village is nowhere around here. Uh oh, Papa Smurf, it's getting weaker. <laughs> Quiet! I'm thinking. Aha! I've just thought of a plan so evil, I can't wait to try it. Come on! That was stitching time thinking, Papa Smurf. I wasn't worried for a minute, I always say. Quite right, Brainy, you always say. But the danger is not over, and we're out of blueberries. We must find more. Therefore, I want every Smurf to gather as many as you can. <laughs> you must all do what Papa Smurf says, because Papa Smurf knows what's best. So... <laughs> so, go out and do a... Job. Oh, no, not again. That's the tenth glowberry bush we've smurfed, and not a single glowberry on any of them. I wonder who's taking all the glowberries. Well, it's a tough problem. Maybe we ought to sleep on it. Not on your smurf. Lazy, you search them. Lazy! <laughs> Go search that room over there. Okay, Hefty. Say that. A dragon? I asked for glowberries, not a dragon. We couldn't find any, Papa Smurf. They're all gone. He's sick, Papa Smurf. Can't you make him better? Pretty please. <laughs> well, I'll see what I can do. Some bat's brains, a touch of toad's tool, and one rotten apple. There, Rasvial. I've created a storm of ill winds and foul forces that will soon destroy the Smurfs and their precious village. Once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> It's working, Azriel. My storm is almost ready to smash Smurfs into little blue bits. <laughs> Dragon's Smurf! Let's get 
some basket. Mm. <laughs> this new crop should be more than enough for my invisibility formula. <gasps> Ingredient rat's tongues. <laughs> That's it. When this cloud reaches the village, it will grow and grow and grow and freeze out those smurfs. Now, seek out the most disgustingly warm hearts in the forest and turn them to ice. Oh, I'm brilliant. Brilliant! <laughs> Before they have time to sneeze, they'll all be smurfsickers. <laughs> Lazy, you should be searching for glowberries like Papa Smurf said. I'm smurfing up the sunshine while it lasts. It's going to snow, you know. That's smurfically absurd. It's the middle of summer. Oh, yeah? Then what's that? I can't believe this. We don't even have our winter stores in yet. Oh, what's causing this terrible storm, Papa Smurf? I think Gargamel is trying to freeze us out. And without glowberries to use in my spells, he may succeed. We won't be able to, 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 to take much more of this cold, Papa Smurf. Yeah, it's even too cold to sleep. There must be some sort of spell I can smurf up. The Smurfs will return after these messages. Okay, campers, this morning we're going to try Life Cereal and Cinnamon Life Cereal. They're both good for you. Good for you? I bet they taste yucky. Yeah, both of them. Eat up, men. He likes it. Life Cereal and Cinnamon Life. Nutritious you know, delicious they know. But your mom tastes better than yours. Uh-uh. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake, and it's too sweet. Their pretend kisses make kissing a treat. Each sold separately. Baby strawberry shortcake, give your mommy a kiss. I love you, baby orange blossom. When you squeeze their tummies, they blow sweet-scented make-believe kisses. Delicious baby angel cake. <laughs> Time to get ready for your nap. Don't you just love them to pieces? <laughs> baby strawberry shortcake and baby orange blossom and baby angel cake, each sold separately. From Kenner. I'll get that cookie crisp this time. It tastes like little chocolate chip cookies. Cookie crisp's taste is really delicious, and it's part of this breakfast truly nutritious. Cookie crisp stays crispy in milk, but cookie crooks don't. I know, I know. An art pen! Wow! Now there's a free art pen inside every specially marked package of cookie crisp, waffles, and dinky donut cereals. They're great for drawing, fun for writing, too, and they come in six different colors. You can collect them all. We now return to the Smurfs. The dragon's back. Oh, the poor thing. He smurfed the terrible cold. Which might be lucky for us. I know there's a proper formula for this somewhere. Ah, here we go. Now, aim the dragon this way. Murph's dirty doing. But he'll never beat me. Never, never! No! Yeah. 
That's not funny. How do you like my new Azrael smurfing trap, Grouchy? Andy, I hate traps. <laughs> I'm sorry, Smurfette, but something's got to be done about the dragon sneezing. But when his cold clears up, things will be... Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! I found some glowberry! Where are they? On your doorstep! Come on! <coughs> hey! He ate the glowberries! Oh, no! Naughty dragon! <coughs> well, now we know where all the glowberries disappeared to. And that's why he's got the hiccups. I'm sorry, Smurfette, but he can't stay in the village. You and Hefty will have to take him back to the forest where he belongs. Oh, I guess you're right, Papa Smurf. Meanwhile, we still must find more berries. Azriel, listen. Sounds like Smurfs! <laughs> Whoa! For a minute there, I thought we were in trouble. You are in trouble, you rotten little Smurfs! <gasps> now I've got you! <laughs> oh, I've lived for this glorious day! <laughs> But we gained a secret weapon. <laughs> Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Gargamel's captured the dragon. In Gargamel's hands, he could become our worst enemy. Now we need glowberries more than ever. Invisibility may be our only defense. We'll find them, Papa Smurf. Don't you worry. I hate glowberries, but I hate Gargamel more. You're not smurfing the area well enough. If Papa Smurf were here, he'd say, Smurf in that burrow, Smurf in that hole, Smurf behind. <laughs> Some Smurfs just can't take direction. <laughs> There must be some way we can make use of this fiery beast, Azriel. Mm -hmm. I have it! Oh, what an evil genius I am! <laughs> evil! <laughs> evil! <laughs> evil! Way ahead of my time, Asriel. Way ahead. <laughs> this time, there is no way those miserable smurfs can hide from me. <laughs> Their village has to be around here somewhere, Asriel. He's Gargamel, all right. He'll see the village easy from up there, Papa Smurf. And we still don't have any glowberries for the invisibility spell. Somehow we must delay him. Leave it to me, Papa Smurf. Oh, all this excitement's making me tired. Aha! 
Here they come, just as I thought. Azriel, prepare to attack. Now to unveil our secret weapon. <laughs> it's the little dragon! Ready! Aim! Fire! <laughs> what a dandy secret weapon you make, my scaly friend. Lazy, we've got to get close enough to puncture that balloon. Ready, aim, fire! <laughs> <laughs> This is too good to be true. <laughs> it's ready. Keep your fingers smurfed. Here I come, miserable smurfs. <laughs> he spotted the village. We've got to stop him. The village is right on target. Ready? Aim. Fire. <laughs> I did. You, Hefty Smurf, and Lazy Smurf. Uh, where is Lazy? I knew everything would Smurf out, Papa Smurf. I wasn't scared for a moment. I told them you'd take care of... Yeah! Your fault, you idiotic cat! What do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> the Smurfs will return after these messages. This is gonna take a while. Look who's up. Dig em. Go for it! Let's have some sugar snacks. Back. Sugar Smacks. I dig them. Give me a snack, and I'll smack you back. The ball! It's still rolling. Time to eat those pops of wheat. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. I don't believe it. Bowling is right up my alley. Kellogg Sugar Smacks. Part of this nutritious breakfast. Dig them. Laughing gas, sir? Good. She'll spray it when the tiger says, great. Then grab the formula. 
Goodness, my hero, Tony the Tiger. Yes, ma'am. And that's the secret formula for Kellogg's Sugar Frosted Flakes. The very ones that make them a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Yes, it makes them good. Good? They're great! <laughs> Gee, she must think I'm a real gas. Frosted Flakes, original or banana. We now return to the Smurfs. should arrest punk. What for? Impersonating a human. <laughs> Punk's a little squirrely. I used to have a pet squirrel that stole my shoes. Gee, Trixie, what's the best way to catch a squirrel? Climb a tree and act like a nut. <laughs> that should be easy for you, Rex. <laughs> well, thanks, Cal. <laughs> What really will be easy is watching Hero High, which is coming up soon. The Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. <laughs> hey, hey, weatherman. Yeah, Rex. How much is 5Q and 5Q? <laughs> 10Q. You're welcome. <laughs> I didn't think that was so funny. Oh. You know, Cal, that's your problem. You take things too seriously. Maybe you need some laughing lessons. What do you say, gang? Let's show Cal how to laugh. Yeah! yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. A one, a two, a three. <laughs> <laughs> now, you see, it's that easy. You try it. <laughs> you call that a laugh? I tell you what, we better try a new approach. Let's tell him jokes, okay? Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. Misty, you start. Okay. I'm 
know a guy who makes his chicken swim in hot water. Why? So they'll lay hard boiled eggs. <laughs> hey, hey, Cal. Funny stuff, huh? <laughs> One more try. Weatherman. Yeah, Rex. What kind of job is it easy to stick to? What kind? Working in a glue factory. <laughs> you see, you see, it was my joke that did it. No, it wasn't the joke. What was it? Your face. <laughs> trouble with them is they laugh too much. I'm gonna go watch Shazam. Hi, Misty. What's happening? I have to give a speech in class and I'm really nervous. Oh, don't be nervous, Misty. There's nothing to it. You know I'm a little shy. Oh, hey, Misty. Forget shy. What's your speech going to be about? I don't know yet. Hmm. Why don't you think big? Hey, Misty, why don't you give a speech about elephants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, like, I'll play some elephant music. What kind of music do elephants play? Oh, heavy, man. <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Now, the first must of any good speech is an attention getter to get the listener's attention right away. How about Rex keeping his mouth shut? That would certainly be different. Ha 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 ha. I got it. Start off with a joke. That's a grabber. Hey, anybody got an elephant joke? I got one. Tell me, why are elephants good travelers? Well, why? Because they always carry a truck. <laughs> no, I like that one. Here's a real grabber. What time is it when an elephant climbs into your bed? Time to get a, a new, new bed. bed. Please, no more. I've changed my mind. I'm not going to speak about elephants. Well, what are you going to speak about? Well, about my good friends and how they all tried to help me. Aww. You're really all super good people, especially you, Rex. You're really a good guy. Thank you. Oh, hey, hey. Talk like that could ruin my reputation. Before this goes any further, we better get back for some Hero High, starring me. <laughs> yeah, 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 they're in it, too. In it! <laughs> The Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. My kids are wild about E.T. Now there's a whole collection of E.T. toys. This one talks. Oh. There's Elliot on his bike with E.T. And a spaceship. Here he comes. Aren't these little E.T.'s cute? Wind this guy up, he walks. Almost like the real E.T. My kids really love their E.T. toys. They actually believe E.T. lives in their closet. The E.T. Toy Collection from LJN. Thank you. Alert the troops! They're protecting Toothopolis with some gel. Attack! Cavity creeps! Press down! Press down! Great tasting Crest Gel with Fluoristat. You creep! Repel by Crest Gel. Now you can get this Crest Team t-shirt free by mail when you buy five large tubes of Crest. Details and the required certificate are available at participating stores. Offer ends November 8, 1982. We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. This is Hero High. No ordinary school. This is an institute of higher learning for students with exceptional skills, superior intelligence, and vast resourcefulness. It's a school day at Hero High, and the super students are racing to class so they won't be super late. Ha, 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 ha.
<laughs> Time to try my new sneezing powder. What's the matter, Peter Penguin? Don't you have a sense of humor? <laughs> Laughing gas. Good idea, Giggler. Okay, Peter. Don't say I never gave you anything. <laughs> Rex Ruthless, I thought you said you were going to be late for school today. You mean I'm not? Rats. I'll try again tomorrow. I'm waiting for Glorious Gal. Since when have you and Glory become such good friends, Trixie? <laughs> Ever since I figured out a plan to break up the love affair between Glorious Gal and Captain California. What a dirty trick. <laughs> How can I help? If you like Glorious Gal as much as I like the Captain, you'll think of something. Here they come now. Glorious Gal, how would you like to be the new Hero High School president? Why would I want to do that? Captain California is already doing a great job as our president. Besides, a girl as president is the funniest thing I've ever heard of, right, Cal? <laughs> if you think that's so funny, try this. Ow! Does that mean you'll run for school president, Glorious Gal? Yes. I think it's about time Captain California learned a little more respect for girls. <clears throat> but, Glorious, wait. <laughs> what utter nonsense! Don't you agree, Mr. Sampson? Absolutely, Miss Grimm. The very thought of a girl as hero high school president is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh, you too? Mr. Samson, you're as bad as Captain California and the rest of the boys. You pompous old goat. <laughs> Anything he can do, I can do. Glorious Gal, hooray! Let's make sure they see your name. Dampening on that. The Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. Vanessa, should I wear my blue or my gold? Aaron, either way, you'll be the belle of the ballet. And you'll be the star of the show. Aaron in Fancy Fiesta and Gold and Glitter. Vanessa in Sky Blue and Ballerina Blush. All sold separately. See you later. They've got flair. They're glamour cows with gorgeous hair. You love the fun of the more than one of these little glamour cows. Aaron and Fancy Fiesta and dolls and other outfits each sold separately from the Glamour Gals collection from Kenner. Stop the brushes! Chips Ahoy cookies just added more chocolate taste. That is new! Just saw it at the bakery. Chips Ahoy, the 16 chip cookie, has even more chocolate in every chip. 16 real chocolate chips. And more chocolate taste in every cookie. Wow, more than ever before. New front page. Extra, extra. Free more chocolate taste. It's Chips Ahoy from Nabisco. We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. Girls, let's hear it for the next president of Hero High. I wouldn't count on hearing her. Punk rock music disappeared. Just play loud in your own ear. Let me hold your speech for you. Bye now. 
This should send that fool Captain California right to the top. You want me to light the fuse now, Rex? Yes, and be quick about it. Are you okay, Rex? I'm fine, thanks. It's you I'm worried about. All right, listen up. Come on. It's time to count the votes. Yeah! Oh, yeah! I have a total. And I have a total. How many votes for Captain California? Captain California has 86 votes. And how many votes for Glorious Gal? Glorious Gal has... Oh, 86 votes, too. It's a tie! Oh, a tie? You mean all this was for nothing? Wait a minute. There's still one vote left to be made. There is? Which one of you girls forgot to vote? I did. Well, then... I guess I lost. <laughs> well, let's just say the best man won. Ever since we stopped talking to each other, do you know what I miss the most, Glory? No. What? Your smile. Believe it. He voted for me. Hold everything. I have something to say. I think I've made a terrible mistake. I wanted to be president because I was mad at Captain California. Now, I realize that he's a better president. Not because he's a boy, but because he's fair and good. So, I hereby turn the presidency of Hero High back over to my own hero, Captain California! Yay! Rex, you and Trixie made quite a mess of it today. You're too kind, Mr. Sampson. <laughs> it was our pleasure. Good, then I guess you two won't mind cleaning up that mess. Huh? huh? Get to work! Misty! Please, we need your help. How can I help? Work some magic and give us something that'll help us clean up the field, Misty. Oh, sure, Rex. Abra Kazoo. <laughs> Good luck, kids. Well, you've done it again, Rex. <laughs> This'll be a snap. Abra Kazoo! <laughs> <laughs> the Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. Boy, do I miss civilization. Woo! You said it. All that thick, rich, delicious chocolate with a crispy crunch inside every creamy chocolate bite. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. What is it? Kit Kat. Taste you can't help but fall in love with. Mind if I try? Help yourself. Mmm. Don't you love it? Chocolatey Crispy Kit Kat. The taste you can fall in love with. Oh, well, yeah, Sam's crispy. Mmm, I love that peanutty smell. What you eating, Lou? What you call it? What do you call it? What you call it? I mean, what's its name? I told you the name. It's not. Did too. You said what to call that. That's right. What do you call an incredibly crunchy bar of thick, peanutty crisp covered in Hershey's chocolate? What you call it? You can ask for it by name. Give me that. Give me what? Oh. We now return to the kids' superpower hours. The heroes and you. <laughs> There's nobody quite like you, quite like you. You're special, you're special. That's right, that's right. That's you. 
It's just a matter of time before you notice me. It's just a matter of time before you finally see. You're always on my mind. You're there all the time. And like an old time movie, you're playing over and over and over and over again. Whoa, 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 you. There's nobody quite like you. Quite like you. You're special. You're special. That's right. That's you. It's true. So let me say it once again. Once again. You're special. You're special. That's right. That's right. That's you. It's time for us to leave. This is Captain California saying, have fun. So long from Trixie. This is Weatherman saying, stay out of my rain. This is Misty. May your life be filled with magic. This is Rex Ruthless, your favorite and mine. Love and kisses to you from Glorious Gale. And Punk Rock telling all of you to stay cool. So long. Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. Who are those guys? Sidewinders. Great for your gum. Gum fighting's always easy with new Raspberry Hubba Bubba. Raspberry. It's a soft, luscious new Hubba Bubba that lets you blow amazing no stick bubbles. That won't stick to your face. Them sidewinders got one thing straight. <laughs> Big bubbles, no troubles. <laughs> Presenting Ronald McDonald in the Great Shake Tank. Gotta help me, Ronald. While I was sleeping, somebody took my McDonald's shake. Well, I know how to catch the shake taker. When he tries to take this shake, I'll catch him on film. Why he's sleepwalking? What happened? We caught the shake taker. In your sleep. Now what do you say? Uh, nice. <laughs> There's so much fun for you today. It's easy to catch someone enjoying a McDonald's shake. McDonald's. <laughs> We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. This is Billy Batson, star reporter for station WIZZ-TV. He has been picked by the aged wizard Shazam to carry on the wizard's lifelong crusade against crime and the forces of evil. When Billy speaks the wizard's name, Shazam! Billy becomes Captain Marvel, mighty champion. Combining the wisdom of Solomon, the strength of Hercules, the stamina of Atlas, the power of Zeus, the courage of Achilles, and the speed of Mercury. Billy's twin sister, Mary Batson, has also been granted special power. When she speaks the name... Shazam! Mary Batson becomes Mary Marvel. Blending the grace of Selena with the best qualities of other goddesses, whose names combined form the word Shazam. The third member of the mighty trio is their friend, lame newsboy Freddie Freeman. When he speaks the name of his idol, Captain Marvel! Freddie becomes the powerful Captain Marvel Jr. Together, they are the mighty Marvel. 
dedicated to fighting the forces of evil throughout the universe. The Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. Stomper SSE Super Cycles. Cycles with the speed you power with a quick pull of the ripcord. You can race them with a friend. Or you can set up your own action stunt course, indoors or out. The Stomper SSE Super Cycles are cycles with speed. Stomper SSC Super Cycles, available in six models, each sold separately from Shopper. Well, well, a little demon in diamonds. Okay, let's play Demons to Diamonds. Huh? Demons to Diamonds is an Atari video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Atari video computer system. Your parents hook it up to the TV. <laughs> Those are supposed to be the demons that turn to diamonds when you hit them with your laser. I've got all the diamonds. Now you can put these back. This is the Atari video computer system. Demons to Diamonds and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. It's a festive day at the City Zoo. A big shipment of new animals has just arrived, and Billy Batson, Wiz TV's star reporter, is on the spot with the news that's hot. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Billy Batson for Wiz TV. <laughs> this is Batsy Billion. Uh, <laughs> for Pete's sake, Batson, we need a sound level. This is a rehearsal. Sorry, sir. Just a slight uh, distraction. <laughs> We're speaking with Mr. Tawny, one of the directors of the zoo. Uh, tell us about the new gorillas, Mr. Tawny. An amazing story, Billy. <laughs> now those two, Mimi and Alphonse, were difficult to catch. But the other one <laughs> practically jumped into the cage. It was almost as if he wanted to go. Gee, he is big. What's his name? Big Boy. You know, there's something about him. He's not like any gorilla I've ever seen. Now that you mention it, he looks a lot like... <laughs> no, it couldn't be. I must distract him before he remembers where he's seen me before. Ah, just the thing. I'll make him change into Captain Marvel. I will obey. Mr. Tawny, thank you once again. It's always a pleasure to hear from our animal friends. Make that usually a pleasure. Looks like it's time for... The Marvels! Shazam! Captain Marvel! Now, how do you suppose they got out? <laughs> Fools, to 
did they think they could escape the vengeance of Dr. Alarog forever? <laughs> I'll show them all of them. <laughs> Gadzooks, I wish Tawny would learn a new song. He says it inspires his cooking, Uncle Dudley. Ha! We should have asked Billy to get some pizza on his way home. Could Big Boy really be Dr. Alarog? I don't know about that, but I do know Uncle Dudley hasn't got another move. I think I'll see what's keeping dinner. I wish Billy would hurry up. I think we should go back to the zoo and check that gorilla. He told us to wait until he was through at the station. All right, but I still don't see how Alarog could have escaped after we captured him the last time. Now, what do you suppose? Must have been the wind. We better take a look. That's funny. I thought you said they were hungry. The front door's open. <laughs> Believe it or not. Well, speak up, man. I smell gorillas. Gorillas? That's impossible. It's probably your cooking. I tell you, there were live gorillas right here within the last few minutes. <laughs> Wait a minute. They're the same gorillas that were at the zoo. Hmm, I think we better get down to the zoo and see what this monkey business is all about. I don't know. Billy will be back soon. Don't you think we should wait for him in case there's any trouble? No need for that, Mr. Tawny. If trouble should show its ugly head, Uncle Marvel will show his. Maybe we should wait for Billy after all. Let's show him we can solve a case by ourselves for a change. Well, if you say so. You wait here. If anything happens, get Billy as fast as you can. Oh, yes. <laughs> Excellent idea, Tony. Hmm, I've always had a way with animals. You little fella. Ow! Uh, wait, please! Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> Something's got these animals riled up. I'll just stand clear of the cages. I wonder what's keeping Tony. <laughs> Pardon me, sir. What's going on? Alarog? He's going to release the animals and put the humans in cages? You there! Get out of that suit! Catch you later! Hold the tiger! I knew I shouldn't have eaten them pickles. I wonder what got into him. Hey, open up! It may 
not look like much, but it'll do the trick. <laughs> you overgrown monkey, you better leave before Captain Marvel gets here. Stupid humans, leave. <laughs> the fun's just beginning. Fun? What exactly did you have in mind? Just a little gardening. Perhaps you'd like a small demonstration. <laughs> now that's what I call <laughs> fun. When the entire world is a jungle, the human race will become my slaves. My jungle machine will make it much more... Uh, livable. For animals, that is. <laughs> we'll just put it on full power, and the world will be mine. There's nothing worse than an evil-powered, crazed monkey with a green thumb. Uncle Dudley, too? This is worse than I expected. But what does Alirog want? He thinks humans should never have been allowed to take control of the world. He wants revenge on all of us. But how... Holy moly! The city square is turning into a jungle. No time to waste. Shazam! <laughs> to get to the zoo, if it isn't too late already. Can Captain Marvel stop Alirog before the jungle swallows up his hometown forever? We'll soon find out. The Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. Isn't Barbie ready? Ken's been waiting for hours. What's from Ken doll sold separately? It's her hair. Here's Magic Girl Barbie. Barbie likes it curly. Ken likes it straighter. With Magic Miss Solution and lots of brushing, you can change Magic Girl's hair as often as you like. We've changed it ten times, and she wants it curly again. Better fix Ken's sandwich. <laughs> Magic Girl Barbie doll. Magic Miss not for use on other Barbie dolls. Western Ken doll sold separately from Mattel. Hey, kid, what do you want? Yum. What's that? You want gum? Yum. How about this bubble yum? Hmm. Says super yum. This must be new. Bubble yum, huh? Looks good. Maybe I'll try a piece. Mmm. Mmm. Hey, kid. Thank you. Bubble yum, bubble gum. It's a super yum. Uh, the Euclidean warlord says he has long admired the fit of your Levi's jeans. Tell him it is a frequent custom to wear Levi's jeans on Earth, denim and corduroy. It is one of the things I often miss so far from home. But I do not think the Euclidean could wear Levi's jeans. Oh, Levi's. Uh, he says Euclids do not exactly wear Levi's jeans. <laughs> We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. Captain Marvel races toward the city zoo to rescue Mary, Freddy, and Uncle Dudley, held captive by the evil Dr. Alarog. But meanwhile, Alarog's jungle machine is making problems. I'm going to have to do something about this. What a mess. Where am I going to start? I wonder if Weed Killer would help. Here we go again. Dr. Alarog really has turned the animals loose. One down.
Now, are the rest of you coming peacefully? Or do I have to do this the hard way? I thought I'd never catch them all. All right, Alarog. Now it's your turn. <laughs> Find your captivity uncomfortable, do you? <laughs> Get used to it! So, the great Captain Marvel is here at last! All right, Alarog. Your little game is finished. And you can start by untying them. Oh, come now, Captain Marvel. What's your rush? We have so much to talk about. We'll talk, all right, after I put you behind bars where you belong. Indeed. If I were you, my dear Red Cheese, I wouldn't move a muscle. Do you think I'd make it that easy? After you and your friends sealed me in a cave? If an earthquake hadn't opened it... We left you enough food to last forever. But it was so boring. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Another failure, Balarog. Really? <laughs> Let's see. That ray has made me too powerful. Another failure, did you say? All right for you, Alarog. <laughs> Slow down! That ray must have increased my powers a billion times. I must slow down. Holy moly! to admit it. This is Alarog's best trick so far. But maybe that strength ray won't work the same on Billy Batson. Shazam! Wow! I never felt like this before. I bet I could fly. I can't really fly, but I can jump miles. I'm almost as strong as Captain Marvel. This is fun. Your precious Captain Marvel is out of the picture for good. Now I'm going to put all of the city's humans in the zoo. And let the animals take over? I don't think so, Dr. Alarog. Get him! Oh. <laughs> What? How? Let's just say you underestimated humans. <laughs> Captain Marvel! Shazam! <laughs> I'll take that ray pistol. Shazam! Tell me one thing, Malarog. Why do you do these things? You wouldn't understand. I wanted to be the first gorilla in Who's Who. Okay, I'll have a special one printed up for you. Who's Who at the zoo? I'll get you for this, you big red cheese. <laughs> the Kids Superpower Hour with Shazam will return after these messages. He's a hunter.
honeycomb. Oh boy, my favorite big honeycomb. Hey, this little guy's gonna eat our big honeycomb. Little guy, watch this. He's a honeycomb. What is that? That's a big, delicious honeycomb. Big, crunchy honeycomb cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. Mmm. Glamour Gals. Tenor's Glamour Gals, each sold separately. Party time. You're beautiful, Shar, and simply sparkling. The boys are going to love you, Danny and Silver Shimmer, if they don't fall for Jessie. I wonder what she'll wear. How about Jessie in Beautiful Bride? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mom, you got her for me. Shara in Simply Sparkling, Danny in Silver Shimmer, Jessie in Beautiful Bride, each sold separately from the Glamour Gals collection. We now return to the Kids Superpower Hour. So ends another adventure with the Mighty Marvel. You won't want to miss the next exciting adventure with star reporter Billy Batson, his sister Mary, their friend Freddie Freeman, lovable Uncle Dudley, and that amazing talking tiger, Mr. Tawny. and his amazing friends will return after these messages. You can imagine the prehistoric past and the distant future coming together in one creation. Zoids. You can pretend that they're creatures from the age of dinosaurs or that they're futuristic monster machines. Each Zoid requires assembly and though their appearance is strange, you can wind them up and let them move freely about your home. Zoids. Each is sold separately. They're made by Tomy. Nestle Crunch, the blend of milk chocolate and crispy crunchies that's music to your mouth. Creamy milk chocolate is the melody. Crispy crunchies are the harmony. The two together are music to munch. Let's hum a few bars of Nestle Crunch. Spider-Man and his amazing friends will return after these messages. It's a very delicious kind of day. Mmm, strawberry shortcake's fixing breakfast. Smells good. It's my new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's berry pink. Strawberry pink. With a crispy strawberry taste. Even smells like strawberry. My berry favorite. Most important. I know. It's a very tasty part of this good nutritious breakfast. You're pretty bright. So are you. <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very delicious. Strawberry shortcake, the berry trolley's fun. Wobbles and clicks to the end of its run. Um, boys, big berry trolley. Strawberry shortcake with custard one arrive. Dolls of pets are sold separately. We're off to berry market. Wait, we forgot angel cake with souffle. Hold on, because it wobbles a lot. And goes clickety-click. 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 New strawberry shortcake, big berry trolley. Dolls with pets each sold separately. They're from Kenner. We now return to Spider-Man. After these messages. It's new Dolly Pops dress-ups with four dress-up outfits each sold separately. Dolly Pops dress-ups, ooh, Dolly, Dolly, Dolly. Party time has two dresses to make Dolly very pretty. With playtime, you can pretend to feed Puppy and Kitty. With school time, you can pretend Dolly's in class. 
And with Country Time, you can pretend to catch butterflies and walk in the grass. Dolly Pops Dress Ups. Toss your dress in a snap. Dolly Pops Dress Ups. Country Time. Other Dolly Pops Dress Ups sold separately. New from Knickerbocker. It's Skinny Doodle, and you can draw most anything, most anywhere, most anytime, with your Skinny Doodle. You can stop a drawing in one place, start it again in another. You can make a great design, or draw whatever comes to mind. Oh, it's Skinny Doodle, and you can draw most anything, most anywhere, most anytime, with your Skinny Doodle. Skinny Doodle comes with 12 different design discs from Hasbro. We now return to Spider-Man. They on Space Stars. Space Ghost Jan, Chase, and Blip discover a strange and deadly intruder to the star system. Then, the teen force roars into action against the all-evil Uglor and his plan for conquest. Herculoids! The battle cry of the Herculoids calls the members to face danger and possible destruction. Next on Space Stars. Space Stars. A galaxy of heroes teamed together in an interstellar battle against evil. Blast off on adventures as big as the cosmos itself. Race, poised on the edge of time with Space Ghost and his young friends. Scream through the universe with Space Ace, Astro, and the Space Mutts as they spring into action. And somewhere deep in space, Super Danger threatens the Teen Force. Join the famed Herculoids in their new battles to preserve peace on the planet Quasar. Now, get set for 60 laser-blasting minutes of action, adventure, fun, on Space Stars! Space Stars will return after these messages. Long ago, in a galaxy far away, the Star Wars saga began, and Kenner continues the excitement. We must capture Luke Skywalker! Circus, Imperial TIE Fighter Pilot, Adat Commander, and Hoth Luke Skywalker, each sold separately. Those guys don't give up! Which way now, Adat Commander? He must be in here! We've got you now, Skywalker! Shoes on the other foot! I've got you! Zuckus, Adat Commander, and other action figures, each sold separately from Kenner's Star Wars Return of the Jedi Collection. <laughs> Watch me scare Fred out of his pebbles. Yo, Martians! <laughs> Delicious. Arnie! Whoops. Gonna blast on? Post Pebble cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. What's more fun than a Flintstone poster? What? A Flintstone poster. You color yourself. <laughs> Four new Flintstone posters, one in each specially marked box of Post Pebble cereal. Crayons not included. We now return to our program. Of all the mysteries Space Ghost has ever encountered, few will match this solitary spaceship. For this is no ordinary space cruiser. It is bait for the ultimate trap. Nearby, Space Ghost's young friend Jace is on a scouting mission. Space Ghost said he picked up some weird radio wave activity around here. But I sure don't see anything. I guess I may as well go on back. Wow! What a tough-looking ship! Wonder whose it is. Ahoy, ship! Anyone there? Hmm. Shuttlecraft to Phantom Cruiser. Roger, Jace. Find anything? I'm not sure. There's some kind of dragster ship out here. It looks abandoned, and I thought I'd check it out. Okay, but watch yourself. Hmm. Nobody home. I wonder if anybody'd mind if I took it for a little ride. Hey, this baby really moves. Jan, did Jay say a face only a mother could love? I uh, can't wait to be a big TV star, eh, Blip? Ooh. <laughs> Come in, Jace. What have you found? I think he shut off his radio. Something's wrong. Get a fix on the shuttle craft. Got it. 
Let's go! The twin moons of Bellerophon. Bellerophon One, rich with the galaxy's most precious ore, gold. Once mined, it is transported on a gigantic pipeline for refining on Bellerophon Two. The work is handled by the most honest laborers in the galaxy, robots. The Bellerophon moons, all that gold, mine for the taking. Guard stations alert. We are under attack. There's the shuttlecraft, but no Jace. I don't like this space ghost. Bellerophon 2, calling all available ships. We are under attack. We'd better check it out. My plan is working perfectly. Soon, not only Jace will be in my clutches, but space ghost as well. Gold! I must have more gold! I will destroy it! Destroy the Phantom Cruiser! Did you see who that was? Jace! What's happened to him? I'll have to get aboard that ship. Stay out of his way, Jan. Okay, Blip, let's go. Boy, Jace sure has the Midas touch. So much gold. And I wanted to stop him. I'll help him instead. Get some gold for myself. I'll get all of it for myself. I must have that gold. <laughs> Leave me alone, you stupid monkey! Oh, what am I doing? Thanks, Blip. There's something about this ship that makes people evil. I have an idea who's behind this, but first I'll have to take care of Jace. Blip, go back to the Phantom Cruiser. Okay, Jace, come and get me. That pipeline's plenty thick. It should hold Jace for a while. Space Ghost will pay for this! There's something on that ship that controls emotions. Sounds like the wizards were. Right. I'll bet he's hanging out somewhere around here. You were right! There it is! It's jet black. No wonder we couldn't get a visual. Try and find the machine that's causing all this. I'll take care of the wizard personally. So, Space Ghost approaches. I shall arrange a most unpleasant welcome for him. Just the sort of layout you'd expect from a cheery guy like the wizard. Nope, can't go through there. Got to keep reminding myself these are just the wizard's tricks. So, you made it through my little illusions, did you? I'm tired of your games, wizard. This time I'm putting you away for good. Ah, but this is no illusion. Now to destroy you. This must be the machine the wizard uses to control people's minds. Aha! I'll push fear. You're finished, space gun. No, no, don't hurt me, Space Ghost. I'll be good, I swear it. Please, please take me away from here. Jan must have gotten to your machine, wizard. Now, forget Jace. I must have more gold. I must get out of this pipeline. Boy, Jace must really be mad. Space Ghost, the whole pipeline will explode, and Jace with it. 
There must be another one of those machines in here somewhere. You! You've come for my gold, haven't you? Well, you can't have it. I'll destroy the whole ship first. No, Jace. We must destroy the wizard's box before... I can't let it affect me. The self-destruct button will do the trick. No! What, 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 what am I doing? You're getting out of here. That's what you're doing. Come on! I must say, brother dear, I had no idea you were so talented. Huh? Well, what do you mean? Why, you just zoomed on in there and ripped off all that gold as if you were opening a can of peas. Of course, that was while you were under the influence of the wizard's machine. Normally, you aren't so talented after all. Space <laughs> magic with the Herculoid. Tundro! Tundro! Tundro, come over here, quick! Tundro, I want to show you a trick. A trick using magical magnetism. <laughs> an ordinary wooden stick. First, I set the straw down on the table. Then I take this ordinary wooden stick and rub it on my arm to summon up the mysterious magnetic forces. Now, move in real close, Tundro, and keep your eye on that straw. <laughs> okay, okay, you're right. The stick wasn't really magnetized. When you moved in to get a real close look, I secretly did this. So it wasn't magnetism, but air that made the trick work. Not a bad trick, huh, Tendril? Remember, practice makes perfect. And now today's space fact. Gee, Space Ace, it's really cooking out here. Mercury's awful close to the sun, isn't it? But you were the one who said it would make the perfect summer vacation spot. Make that a simmer vacation? What makes the sun so hot anyway, Space Ace? Well, Astro, the sun is slowly, very slowly shrinking, which accounts for some of its heat. But the sun gives out a thousand times as much heat as just shrinking alone could produce. Come on, Spacey Ace. You can give me the real lowdown. Why me? Anyway, as I was saying, astronomers have found the sun and other stars are great nuclear furnaces. There are explosions happening on the sun. The process is called nuclear fusion, and it creates so much energy that the temperature at the center of the sun reaches millions of degrees. Deep inside the sun, hydrogen atoms crowd together. It turns the atoms of hydrogen into a completely different substance, helium. Astro? The sun is exploding? You know, Ace... Space Stars will return after these messages. Where have you been? I found this terrific ground spaghetti kids eat on Earth. They're called SpaghettiOs. All those wonderful little olives round like our space saucer. What fun to eat. Mmm. You're supposed to eat them with a spoon. The neat brown spaghetti you can eat with a spoon. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. A surprising advance for Earth culture. SpaghettiOs. A terrific lunch for kids wherever you are. Mr. Sun, why two scoops of raisins in Kellogg's Razor Bran cereal? I'll shed some light on that, young man. There's two good reasons raisin lovers love Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Those two plump, juicy scoops of raisins from Kellogg's Raisin Land. Wow! Where I write them. Two big scoops! For every box. Sensational! Uh, you mean sensational. Kellogg's Raisin Bran, part of this complete breakfast. Two scoops in Kellogg's Raisin Bran. They're here, and they're moving out. Rough Riders 4x4, you can try to stop them. The 1983 Rough Riders 4x4s, each sold separately, battery not included. Hard driving. Gonna make it. Tough-looking vehicles with racing colors. Flamethrower, turbo eliminator, highway patrol, blazer, rally bronco. Hot stripes, hot flames with lots of power, rugged-looking tires, and working headlights. Go for it! 
Rough Riders 4x4 Rally Bronco Highway Patrol Blazer Flamethrower and Turbo Eliminator each sold separately from LJN. Oh, pal, I hear they have great summer skiing on Pluto. <laughs> We now return to our program. The planet Mura, a peaceful world dotted with lakes. But today that peace has been shattered by the dreaded Uglor's warship orbiting above Mura like a giant vulture. Leaders of Mura, I command you, surrender your planet to my rule. Never will we yield to your tyranny, Uglor. Of course you will. After a little persuading. <laughs> Fire missile one! You are now at the mercy of my space slime. Billions of tiny organisms that feed on any moisture they can find. You'll be all right. Surrender, fools, before it is too late. <laughs> Enough, Aglor. Our planet is yours. Please, please, call off your slime. Fire antidote. <laughs> Welcome, citizens of Mura, to an exclusive club, the United Planets of Uglor! <laughs> Move it! All the free worlds are surrendering to Uglor faster than you can say shifty-eyed space apes. The question is, how's he doing it? By plotting the path of the planets Uglor's already hit, it looks like the planet Cleo is next. Then let's get to Cleo before Uglor does. Coming up on the planet Cleo. Soon all of its riches will be mine. Sire, five objects approaching at high speed. The team force! <laughs> this is perfect. Take us behind the nearest moon. Hmm. Sure is peaceful for a planet that's supposed to be under attack. Maybe Ugler has decided to skip this one. No. I sense his presence nearby. must be an easier way to play choo-choo. Help! Help! Oh, please help! <gasps> oh, no! Incredible! This stuff aged in 50 years in a few seconds. Uh-oh! We're safe for the moment, guys. But I don't know how much longer I'll be able to project this psychic energy barrier. Oh, how noble, Team Force. But if you wish to save Cleo from my space slime, then swallow your pride and admit defeat. Never, you overstuffed baboon. Then I hope you had your anti-slime shots. You're the guy who's about to take some shots, Uglor. Fire missile! The whole sky is filling with space slime. It must be feeding on the atmospheric moisture. K Comet! Moleculad, my powers are weakening. Hang on, Electra. I've got to hold it back. Got to. Oh, no! Electra, are you okay? All right, Uglor. You win. We surrender. <laughs> the mighty Teen Force. But from now on, you'll take orders from me. All I need is one good reason to give that guy a thrashing. Wait a minute, kid. You promised to restore Electra and the Astromice to normal. So let's do it. My rejuvenation machine is within my ship. And that's where it will stay. That's a good reason. 
Nice work, old girl. Hey, knock it off. I used to be young myself, you know. Hurry. Let's get our cycles, get the old folks on board, and find that rejuvenation machine. No one escapes a glory! No one! <laughs> This rejuvenation machine should have you back to normal in a few minutes. The sooner the better. Shut off that machine now, or I'll destroy it along with your friend. First answer one question. Who does your floor? What? The slime! Oh, the antidote! It doesn't work! I'd say your space slime is mutated into a new strain, one that's immune to the antidote. And if we don't destroy it, it'll overrun this ship. And eventually the entire universe. But first, it will overrun you! Uh, yeah. He's gone, and we can't chase him. First, we must destroy the slime. Before it gets to us. Swell. But how? We'll have to totally destroy this ship. With the help of Moleculad's molecular energy, I might be able to shrink it with my telekinetic powers. Do it. We haven't a second to lose. I programmed the autopilot to take this ship straight into a star, so hurry! Ta-da! Save the fanfare. And get to the rocket cycles, all of you! <sighs> that takes care of the space slime. Now, to take care of all the people at age with this rejuvenation machine. I imagine it won't be too long before Uglar does the same for himself. Yeah. That's definitely one guy who isn't going to mellow with age. <laughs> Time for a space mystery with Space Ace and the Space Mutts. This is Auto World, where the galaxy's latest experimental cars are on exhibit, including the super fast Lightning Bird. That cosmic car thief, Auto Man, is still bragging that he can successfully steal the Lightning Bird. We're here to see that he doesn't. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, Space Ace. We're ready for him. But at this very moment... <laughs> Look there. It's the Auto Man. I'll bring him in, Space Ace. Mine, the fastest space car in the galaxy. <laughs> that lightning bird is really fast. The ace ship is having trouble catching up to it. So, the space police are after me, eh? All right, if they want to drag race. Thus begins the most frantic space chase in Space Ace's career. Through the solar system. Beyond Saturn. Past Jupiter. Mars. Earth. Venus. We almost had him. Why are we stopping? We just passed Mercury and it's getting pretty warm. I think we can let Auto Man sweat this one out a while. You know why Space Ace has stopped the chase? Stay tuned and find out. And now the answer to today's space mystery. Space Ace, he'll get away! Don't worry, everything is under control. Just be ready with your space lasso, Dipper. Have you no 
he'd come back. Well, I realized that the lightning bird was headed directly toward the sun, so Auto Man had to turn around. <laughs> or get the worst case of sunburn in space history. Space Stars will return after these messages. Strawberry Honeycomb is gonna score big. Strawberry Honeycomb, here it comes. Wow. Big strawberry taste, big honeycomb fun. A giant strawberry, what's going on? Big strawberry news from Honeycomb. Natural strawberry flavor. Strawberry, outstanding fun. Wow. Big strawberry taste, big honeycomb fun. New strawberry honeycomb cereal, part of this nutritious breakfast. It's fun to create with Crayola. Crayola Caddy. A Crayola Caddy spins around and round. Crayons, markers, brushes are so easily found. Paints and watercolors to use throughout the day. They're all in our caddy and that is why we say it's fun to create with Crayola. The Crayola Caddy comes with everything you see here. You can roll a roll to your pal. Chocolate covered chewy caramel. You can roll a roll to your mate. It's chewy and it's chocolate. Really great. Hmm. Roll up. Chewy chunks of caramel, each covered in real milk chocolate. All rolled together. You can roll a roll with your friends. It's chocolate covered caramel from end to end. Get under the spell. Gel. Now that's when to refresh. Get under the spell of Colgate Gel. Awesome taste. Yeah. That's the spell of Colgate Winter Fresh Gel, a creamy blue gel packed with proven MFP fluoride, the maximum fluoride protection a toothpaste can give. Get under the spell of blue Colgate Gel. Colgate Regular Colgate Winter Fresh Gel, the cavity-fighting gel with a winter fresh taste. It's really fun. We now return to our program. In moments, in Jupiter, we will be home again on Quasar, reunited with the descendants of our ancestors. Yes, Commander, it will be good. The lost city of Quasar, once home to a highly developed race who perished 500 years ago. For Tara, it is a place to study and unlock the secrets of the lost race. But for Dorno, it is a vast playground. <laughs> oh, no! Take it easy, Gleep. some answers. Something has happened to Dorno. Come, Tara. Herculoids! <laughs> Gloop and Gleep will lead the way. Why are 
are they interested in the lost city? Why do they want Dorno? Wait here. Where is my son? For humanoids, Commander. He is safe. And I will keep him until I have discovered the fate of my people. Your people? We are the descendants of this race. Returning after a thousand year mission to find our civilization destroyed. We had nothing to do with this. And you lie. Seize them! There's another way. I know what made the people of the Lost City extinct. The trumpeter flowers evolved in such a way that their pollen became deadly to the ancients. The flowers don't bloom anywhere this time of year except the top of the great mountain. Now, Savage, we shall fight in the way of my ancestors with the energy whips. I wish no fight with you, Rangpole. Your people became extinct hundreds of years ago. We had nothing to do. We have no more talk. Now we fight. Zack, take me to the top of the great mountain. to do. Now you will pay, Savage. You fear this flower. It is poison to you. Soon the rains will come, and this city will be covered by blooms such as this. This is what destroyed your ancestors, not us. I'll return to your colony in outer space and leave us in peace. <coughs> Perhaps someday we will return, Anjupi. <coughs> and 
And so Commander Rangpo and his people leave Quasar forever, defeated not by brute strength, but by a beautiful flower. a deadly trap for the Space Ghost team. Then, intergalactic mischief is part of a mutt's life as Astro Space Ace and the Space Mutts track down one of the galaxy's most unusual villains. And the space heroes unite to battle an evil force so powerful that stellar existence is threatened today on Space Stars. On the intergalactic code center, Space Code. Oh, there's no trouble on Mars, Blip. Trouble in Martian Empire is a coded message, and it holds an important secret. The secret of the only dimension that can trap a dangerous alien called the Outworlder. You Earth kids can know that secret if you break the code. Here's a clue. With these letters, it's first come, first serve. All right then, Earth kids, get to work and polish off that message. Space Stars will return after these messages. Well, how do you like my kingdom of hearts? It's fun! You know what we like best? A ride in my half balloon nope. has to be the half day school. This is even better. Then it's halfsies, my crunchy sweet new corn and rice cereal. It's crunchy sweet, but half the sugar of most sugar-coated cereals. How does it taste so sweet? That's my secret. It's the greed. No, sweet halfsies are mine. <laughs> now what? Half a car. I don't care. I'm halfway there. Half a bridge. Whoa! Nice work, kids. Any time, King. The new halfsies. New Hobbsies are a crunchy sweet part of this balanced breakfast. Now you can snap together fun with a glow-in-the-dark crazy ball from Hobbsies cereal. Turn off the light! It wobbles! It glows! The crazy ball in specially marked boxes of new Hobbsies. Oh, Tidal wave? No. <gasps> Big soft liquid center bubble? They burst the flavor inside. Hey, Chief, you know why it's called Tidal Wave? <laughs> flavor Mondo! Tidal Wave Bubblegum. It's a flash flood of flavor from the very first bite. With strawberry shortcake, you can play escape from purple pie, man, and from sour grapes. Strawberry shortcake with custard can get away on the berry cycle. Strawberry shortcake, berry cycle, and dolls with pets each sold separately. Hurry, here's sour grapes with grapes and purple pie, man, with berry bird. Heh heh ha. Well, tight custard. <laughs> we made it. Sour grapes. Strawberry shortcake with custard, purple pie, man, with berry bird, new sour grapes with dregs, and new strawberry shortcake berry cycle each sold separately. They're from Kenner. We now return to our program. The Keffel Spaceway, where transport ships move in ceaseless regularity.
So Ugler hasn't been giving you any trouble lately, eh, Kid Comet? Nothing for a week, Space Ghost. That's a new record for him. I've got to run, Space Ghost. The rest of the team force is waiting for me at Black Hole X. Take care. Adios, kid. Trouble? I don't know. Might be a meteor swarm. Not unless they've come up with man-made meteorites. Look at that. It's the debris from a wrecked starship. Trouble, Space Ghost? It could be. Something big is bearing down on us from overhead. Take your stations. We'll try and outrun it. We can't shake it. That is about the most determined comet I've ever seen. Wait a minute. I've sensor scanned the comet. There's some kind of little metal box in the core. Remote control device? It's the work of the commander, mastermind of remote control. Instead of soldiers, he uses remote control devices. We could track the radio beams back to him. But in the meantime, that comet's programmed to destroy anything that moves. Even if we could catch up with it, the core's too hot to get the device. Then we could use some help. Space Ghost calling Kid Comet. Go ahead, Space Ghost. Kid, we've got a renegade comet here. We could use your help. I'd like to help Space Ghost, but Electra and Moleculat have really been on my case to get back at... You mean Kid Comet's afraid of a comet? Okay, okay, I'm on my way. <laughs> Now you've got to destroy that remote control box, understand? I'll do my best. Jan, have you locked the tracking computer onto that radio beam? Like a bulldog. I think it's time we pay the commander a little visit. That dude is fast. Taken care of, Space Ghost. Anything else I can do? Not right now, kid. Thanks. Anytime. Adios! Now, to implement my real plan. Coming up on the commander's ship, Space Ghost. That's a battle cruiser. How are we ever going to get to him in that thing? We'll split up and enter from both sides. Chase, you and Blip find his remote transmitter and put it to sleep. Maybe we can use this communication system to see how the ship's laid out. Hey, hey, hey what's going on? Thinking, Blip. With a commander's remote control power, you can't trust anything around here. Invisible power. I hope Jace and Blip are having better luck. That wouldn't be hard. Enough of this. Now we're cut off from both sides. No way. This is a door. <laughs> Greetings, Commander. So, we finally meet face to face, Space Ghost. And I think it's time we had a little talk. Blip, there's the remote device. Now how do we put it out of commission? The power cables. Nice work, Blip. Let's see if we can get a little action here. Nope. Bingo! Now we scramble the circuits a little. Oh, let that be a lesson, Blip. Never fool around with electricity. Three moons and an asteroid belt are on a collision course for the capital of the galactic government. They will smash it and I will rule. And suppose we just stamp your transmitter flat. And the moons and asteroids will run amok. You'll have a greater danger on your hands. Space Ghost, Jason Blip, we've got to... Space Ghost, we did it! The transmitter is history! You've cooked your own goose, Space Ghost! What? 
What are you doing? I've just cooked your goose, Commander. Jan, you and Chase take the cruiser and mop up those asteroids. How do we stop three moons? It'll take the firepower of this battle cruiser and a lot of luck. Well, I needed some sharpshooting practice anyway. If you need practice, we're in trouble. Look! It's as though they've got a mind of their own. Everybody, fire! Good shooting, Jace. This will be just like shooting oh. pool. You're a fool, Space Ghost. Not even the target computers could wipe out all three moons. It would take superhuman skill. Well, I hate to brag, but eight ball in the side pocket. Rats, scratch the cue ball. It's... it's impossible. Space Ghost, we wiped out the asteroids. I... I can't believe it. Believe it, Commander. The only thing you'll be commanding from now on is the view from inside a jail cell. Thus, the Commander's evil dreams of conquest have been thwarted, and his power over celestial objects ended. Thanks to... Space Code Part 2. One dimension can trap the dangerous alien called the Outworlder. And the name of that dimension is in the code message, Trouble in Martian Empire. Here's another clue. All things must have a beginning. The Outworlder will soon be menacing the teen force. So get cracking while we warn them. Diamond ship streaks toward the Interplanetary Museum. Inside is the renowned jewel thief, Julie Newstar, on her way to snatch the renowned Jupiter Jewel, the largest diamond in the universe. Once I have the Jupiter Jewel in my hot little hands, I'll be able to finish building the cosmic laser blaster. Then I can change the shape of the Earth from a boring circle into a beautiful diamond. Meanwhile, a gala space wedding is about to take place. All the space heroes are here. Space Ghost, Jan, Jace, Blip, and the Teen Force. I'm sure glad you're the best man, Easy, because you are. Yeah, yeah. Can't argue with you there, Astro. Uh-oh, time to make our grand entrance. I love the space mutts dearly, you know? But sometimes... Now, how do you get mad at that, huh? The ring, please. The ring! The ring! The ring! The ring! That's Julie Newstar's diamond ship. Let's go, space mutts! Uh, the, what about the reception? You know, they're having ice cream and cake and... We made it, AC. There's the diamond planet, Spacey. Pull out the brake, Astro. Here's the brake, AC. Will I ever learn? That's the way out, Space Mutts. Boy, this stuff is slippery. This is no problem, Dip. No problem. Oh, boy. The Astro! Ah, a dead end. Looks like we'll have to... Oh! Well, how nice of you boys to drop by. I've been expecting you. The invisible force field will keep you clowns out of my hair while I finish building my cosmic laser blaster. And when that laser beam reaches the room, you'll all go poof! 
So long, boys. <laughs> There's got to be some way out of here. AC, what's that? Five, A control panel. Four, three, two. Okay, let's go. You guys keep Julie busy while I find a way out of here. Gotcha, AC boy. As soon as I add this rock to the works, the old round earth is kaput. Hey! The Jupiter Jewel! Let's grab it, guys! <coughs> wait, wait, I got an idea. No problem, no problem. There's always a problem when he says no problem. Ta-da! What's that? The ace levitation ray. We'll float this rock right out of here. Hey, watch it with that thing, will you? What happened to the diamond? I thought this was the levitator. Guess I was wrong. <laughs> that diamond's here. It's just invisible. <gasps> There's my diamond. Diamond? What diamond? Never mind. I'll find it. Now, to get three of you pesky mutts, once and for all. AC, Julie's getting away. Okay, let's move it. I'll push the molecular reconstructor button and it'll put the ship back together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I fixed that yesterday, AC boy. You fixed it? Yeah, yeah. No problem. Uh-oh. He said no problem. <laughs> Space Ace and those silly mutts can't stop me now. My laser blaster will carve the Earth into a diamond shape in no time. Launch the Giggle Gas Astro. You got it, AC. <laughs> what else could go wrong? <laughs> you have interfered with my plans one time too many. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> Your diamond stealing days are over, Julie. <laughs> <laughs> This is what you call togetherness? What can I say? We're family. <laughs> the final space code clue. The code message, trouble in Martian Empire. To decode the message, use only the first letter in each word. Have you broken today's code? Stand by and see as Space Ghost teams with the Teen Force next on Space Stars. Space Stars will return after these messages. Kellogg's Talking Krispies present Barney. Why so blue, Barney? Kids don't want colorful balloons on a rainy day. He looks so deflated. One of our crispy cereals might help. Let's see. Marshmallow Krispies. Perfect. Hey, bright colored marshmallows. It's fun to put my frosted cocoa. Marshmallow. Into your morning. Part of this complete breakfast. With Barney around, who needs rainbows? Genie, hold on. Mom and Dad said I could play Yars Revenge. Revenge? Who's getting even with who? You'll see. Yars Revenge is a video game cartridge you have to buy separately to play on the Atari video computer system. Your parents hook it up to the TV. Now you're supposed to be Yar, fighting a bad coach off. <laughs> you got him, Genie. Can I still play? Tonight, Steven. This is the Atari Video Computer System. Yours, Revenge, and other video game cartridges are each sold separately. We now return to our program. Hey! 
something hit dome number two. Damage report. Captain, it looks like a meteor, but no problem, it didn't break through. Then back to work, and stay alert. Aye, Captain. I can't wait to transfer off this tub and back onto a regular ship, one without a human brain. I heard that, crewman. Now attend to your duties or you will be punished. Aye, aye, aye sir. sir. Listen, what was that? No, no! Keep away! Help! <laughs> Moments later, far across the galaxy at Black Hole X, the Teen Four centers our universe. Hey, slow down, guys. I was in the middle of lunch. There's no time to lose, Molecular. I sense something has happened to a starship. Something terrible. There's the starship, drifting straight toward that tesseract. <laughs> a tesseract is a whirlpool into time, guys. And if the ship gets sucked in, there's no telling where or when in eternity it'll come out. Then we'd better change its course and fast. Hey, it looks like all the ship's energy has been drained away. So, we meet at last, Outworlder. Hey, Captain, we're on your side. Speaking of sides, mine just took a beating. The Teen Force. Uh, I'm sorry. My sensors are failing due to lack of energy. I thought you were the Outworlder. Maybe you'd better start from the beginning, Captain. This ship is the first of its kind. As Captain, my mind is wired directly into it. The ship is my body. But an Outworlder has come aboard. An energy vampire that lives on power. It has drained the life energy from my crew and my ship. Now you are in danger. <laughs> the Astromites! Come on! Are they... are they... They are not dead. They are in suspended animation like my crew. Gang, we're going to need help with this one. I'll send out a call for... Space Ghost! Looks like we've got big problems here, but this revitalizer ray I just developed should solve one of them. <laughs> Pluto, Glax, are you okay? <laughs> What is the Outworlder like? <laughs> that bad, huh, guys? Worse. You must destroy the Outworlder before he destroys me. Captain, it will be a lot easier and safer to get you and your crew off this ship and let it fall into the Tesseract with the Outworlder aboard. No. My crew is not important. Only my body. My ship is important. Pardon us if we don't see it that way. Let's go, gang! No one is leaving! I have sealed all exits. I will not lose my body to the Tesseract. You're mad, Delos. I may be mad, but you are trapped until you defeat the Outworlder. We can smash through the ship's hull and escape. No! This ship is Delos's body. There's no telling what that might do to him. <sighs> Right back at you! No, Space Ghost! It feeds on energy, remember? You'll only be helping it. Here's some energy that ought to turn his head around! What? The Outworlder's splitting us up! And he's done a good job of it! That door is solid adamantium. I can't penetrate. <laughs> Space Ghost! They're gone! Watch those rays! Let's face it, we're lost. This ship is one big maze. But we have to find the others. 
Congratulations, we just found the crew. But in their condition, they won't be doing much good. What? Look out! The Outworlder's appetite is getting worse. He's starting to convert solid matter to energy to feed himself. The Outworlder is dissolving me, bit by bit. I can feel it. Don't let him do this to me! Before we can evacuate these people, we have to get Space Ghost in here to revive them. Right. Jan calling Space Ghost. Jan calling Space Ghost. Come in. Radio waves are energy. The Outworlder must be absorbing them as you transmit. Then I'll get the message to Space Ghost myself. You know, I'm worried about that kid. Don't worry about her. Worry about us. Open the airlocks, Delos. A lot of lives are in danger. Not until the Outworlder is destroyed. Ah, still some energy in one of my power cells. What's this? Excellent. The Outworlder is in one of the ejection modules. Now I can get rid of him myself. We're falling into the Tesseract! Stand back. <laughs> At last, the Outworlder is destroyed! Module. Not anymore. I had to eject them. You fool, Delos. Your crew was in there, too. They weren't important. What matters is my ship, my body. You don't know what it's like to have such power. We'll discuss that later, Delos. Right now, you're coming with us. Can't keep this up much longer. No room in here for me to work up any speed, but I have an idea. Come on, you big cockroach, just a little more. Now, Moleculad! Grab the module, Electra. I'll take care of the Outworlder. It sounds almost alive. For a while it almost was. But when real lives are at stake, almost doesn't count. So, thanks to Space Ghost and the Teen Force, the galaxy is safe from two power-hungry enemies. One, a greedy ship's captain who will pay with time behind bars. The other, a ruthless alien condemned to do his time in time itself. Yosemite Sam. Whoa, Millie. Oh, come on. Whoa. Tweety and Sylvester. Ooh, I thought I thought a putty dad. With Elmer Fudd. <laughs> hey, 
don't forget the port. With Foghorn Leghorn and Peppy Le Pew. And starring, of course, America's Sweetheart. You get it, the Daddy Duck in the Daddy Show. Speedy Daffy! Call it, guys. It's the Daffy Speedy Show. The Daffy Speedy Show will return after these messages. Ever play basketball without any air in the ball? It doesn't bounce. Right. And that's how you can be in the morning if you skip breakfast. You can lose your bounce and start feeling flat and droopy. So fill up with a good breakfast, like cereal and fruit, or eggs and bacon, toast, juice, and milk. Because if you fill up before you start your day, you are giving it your best shot. <laughs> this breakfast message brought to you by Kellogg's. Hey, kid, what can I get you? Yum. What's that? You want gum? Yum. You like uh, bubble yum? Yeah. Says here, super yum. Must be new, huh? Bubble yum, huh? Looks good. I think I'll try a piece. Mmm. What's this again? <laughs> yum. Bubble yum, bubble gum. Now in strawberry, a new super yum flavor. Thank you. Happy now return to the Daffy Speedy Show. Tonight, Barbara Mandrell and the Mandrell sisters welcome Conway Twitty, Patrick Duffy, and the Croft Puppets. Tomorrow night, Boomer takes the rap for another dog's bite and ends up in the palm. Monday night on Little House, a master escape artist astounds the town. Then Albert tries to perform one of the escapes. Now stay tuned for Bullwinkle next. Say Chuck E. Cheese. Get a taste of pizza time theater. Say Chuck E. Cheese. Food and games and all kinds of creatures. For a taste of pizza time theater, you can smile America. Smile America. Smile. 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 Smile America. Say Chuck E. Cheese. It's a world of different places. It's a world of shining faces. A world where kids should have some fun. Moms understand. Wherever M&M's and kids go, there's no chocolate mess, cause moms know. M&M's meld in your mouth, not in your hand. All the world loves M&M's. Pure milk chocolate joy in a candy shell for everyone. M&M's chocolate candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. It's a very delicious kind of day. What do you have there, strawberry shortcake? It looks snowy. It looks snow. It's my new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's berry pink. It's strawberry pink. Right on, right on. Mm, a crispy strawberry taste. <laughs> Smells like strawberries, too. It's very good. I'd say it's a delicious part of this nutritious breakfast. Very good, very good. <laughs> <laughs> new strawberry shortcake cereal. It's very 